the U.S. Supreme Court ruled on Monday that LGBTQ rights are protected from discrimination in employment. The Supreme Court ruled that a landmark civil rights law protects people from discrimination in employment on the basis of sexual orientation and transgender status. It was a six to three vote, uh, and it was written by Neil Gorish, who was Donald Trump's first Supreme Court nominee. Now, what was most interesting about this is now the, there is not a job in the world that can fire you because, or, not, or not hire you because you are gay, lesbian, queer, bisexual, transsexual. They cannot fire you. They cannot decide not to hire you. They cannot decide not to give you a promotion. They cannot treat you separately or differently than anybody else. And that is something that the conservatives, the Republicans, really, really, really were against. They, they are not in favor of treating LGBTQ people similarly to straight people. They just find that, you know, that's anti-ethical to what they believe in, in in the Bible and everything else. And that's their opinion. I think they're wrong, but that's their opinion. But what I found most amazing about this is that the Republicans and the conservatives, you know, they watch Donald Trump every day say the most nasty, horrible things. And they know what he's saying and what he's doing is wrong. They know he has no ethics. They know, they know that he is, he's, he's, you know, not, not doing what is best for the United States. He's doing what's best for Donald Trump, but they're supporting him anyway, because they say, you know what, we, we're getting conservatives on the court and they're going to overturn and they're going to make America less liberal and more conservative. And we'll accept everything and all the crap that Donald Trump says. And we're going to, we're going to clench our teeth and we're going to look the other way because we're getting these conservative judges. And look what happened on the first major social agenda case of the year. The judge that Donald Trump appointed, the conservative judge that was supposed to end liberal rulings, wrote the opinion for what has what will be the most liberal opinion by the Supreme Court in years. Judge Gorish wrote, an employer who fires an individual for being homosexual or transgender fires that person for traits or actions it would not have questioned in members of a different sex. Sex plays a necessary and indistinguishable role in the decision, exactly what Title VII forbids. So if you're a conservative, and you say, we got to put up with Donald Trump and all of his crap and all of his divisiveness and the whole thing with Russia and the whole thing with him enriching himself as president of the United States so we can get conservative judges. And the judge that he appoints writes the most liberal decision in years. You got to be you got to be very, very deflated. You got to be very, very, very deflated as a conservative or as a Republican after that decision. Now, what's going to be very, very interesting What's going to be very, very interesting is there's two other huge social decisions that are going to come down in the next few weeks. There's a decision going to be on DACA, and there's a decision that's going to either overturn Roe versus Wade, which allows women to have an abortion in America, or keep it legal in America. Now, I did not believe, if you asked me two weeks ago, whether LGBTQ workers were going to be treated equally to, to straight men and women in the workforce, I would say there's no way the Supreme Court would, would agree to that. And they agreed to it in a 6-3 decision. So we don't know what's going to happen with DACA. We don't know what's going to happen with the abortion case as well. But imagine if it's three for three. Imagine if it's three for three. I don't think the conservatives and the Republicans are going to really be supporting Trump after his judges didn't come through for the conservative cause. We'll see what happens. But so far, they didn't come through for Trump on the LGBTQ case. Thanks for watching. For more Bradshaw Live, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.